Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do a reading for the Divine Masculines in the Twin Flame Collective. This is going to be from 8th of November through 11th of November 2021. We have the 1111 portal, so <clears throat> this is an important reading, guys, especially for the Twin Flames. Uh, before we jump right in, I would just like to thank all of my subscribers, my new subscribers, and all of my subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me on my journey, for motivating me. Thank you for your likes and your comments. I'm really, really happy to have you all here with me. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have cleared the energies of the space. My cards have been pre-shuffled, so we are good to go. <clears throat> so I just wanted to see, first of all, what is manifesting for the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculines with this 1111 portal. So let's just get one card for the Divine Feminines and one card for the Divine Masculines. And then we can just jump right in. On the Divine Masculine's uh, reading. Okay, so what is manifesting for the Divine Feminines, please, in the Twin Flame Collective in 3D separation with this 1111 portal, please? What is manifesting for the Divine Feminines? Thank you. One card for the Divine Feminines, please. Wow. Beautiful God. So a cycle of decrees where you were losing money or you, where you were losing resources. It's going to end, guys, with this 1111 portal. So this decrees card. See how the water is just slipping through this person's finger? Okay. The, cycle, the uh, four is the number of stability, manifestation. With this 1111 portal, which is again 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4, the, the cycle of decrees where, where the Divine Feminine was losing her finances, maybe her financial stability or whatever, this can be anything and it will vary for each and every one of you. So just take it how it resonates. This cycle is no more going to be there this the cycle of degrees is going to turn into some into a cycle of increase now with this 1111 portal wow amazing so this is for the divine feminines okay let's see what is manifesting for the divine masculines with this 1111 portal please what is happening for the divine masculines please Oh my God. <laughs> so the angels of the four directions spirit is in his face, guys. Angels are there. They're, um, I mean, again, four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is, wow, this is mirroring basically. Okay. The angels are protecting the divine masculine. The signs and synchronicities are in his face. Okay, and look what is at the bottom of the deck. Events. The spirit, the angels, the guide, the ascended masters from all the four directions are in the divine masculine's face, urging him, okay, forcing him, inspiring him to take action. This is an event, a creative endeavor. And, you know, this, this feels like a beautiful romantic date. This is a beach. Okay, there's an empty canvas here. There's a guitar. So maybe, you know, if the Divine Feminine is hearing songs, random songs, or the songs that you used to play when you were with your Divine Masculine, if, if those songs just keep coming up in your physical reality, or if there are some particular songs that keep showing up, and if you and if you are feeling intuitively that the lyrics are very well re resonating with your situation right now, you know that's a confirmation, guys. That's a confirmation. I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, I, yeah. So this is the camera here. All right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, and there's a camera here, and there are books here. Mm -hmm. So I feel the divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the camera here, he just keeps watching the Divine Feminine. There are books here. 
So he's researching, he's studying about her. Okay, but there's, and even when I was shuffling my cards previously, I had a vision of a sand castle. Okay, and this is a beach. So I don't know if, if you live nearby a beach or maybe you are into making sand castles or something like that. That might be a confirmation for someone here. But, you know, this is an event. He is being urged. He is being inspired. He is being motivated to, to take some action to take you, the Divine Feminine, on a romantic date where, where there's music, there's sunshine, there's a beach, okay, where you guys are clicking pictures together. So something like that. So that's one in his mind. And this is an event. So this might just take place. We have 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 8 is, again, the number of infinity. Okay, this is abundance. Wealth. So he's being inspired to, to do this, to take you on this beautiful vacation or a date. And for that, he he might be really into, you know, uh, like putting himself together financially. Okay, what, what? but this is more like financially because eight is the number of abundance. So I feel like he's he's doing that. He already has a plan in mind because the angels and, and the masters are in his face. He needs to do it now. And with this 11-11 portal, this is going to get stronger. He's working really hard for that. Wow, beautiful. Okay, let's begin the reading for the Divine Masculines now. What's his strongest energy? What's his strongest energy when it comes to his Divine Feminine? From 8th through 11th of November, please. What's the strongest energy that he's holding? At this time. Thank you. Ah, oh, obsession. I told you with the camera and the books, there's obsession. And again, at the bottom of the deck, we have door to spirit. So this is again, you know, if you are, if pigeons or doves are in your vicinity or in your physical reality, and you are seeing them very frequently, that's a sign that the Divine Masculine is really working on to come forward and make peace with you. Okay, that's a sign. So, of course, the signs and synchronicities are in his face. He's really protected. He's really guided at this time. Okay, but with the attachment card, this is like, look how closely this woman, obsessively, she's watching this mask. But she feels tied to this pole and there's a dark, small room in the background. So this is like obsession, attachment. He's really attached to the Divine Feminine. He can't let go, but again, he's too fearful to free himself of this darkness, this fear and come forward. But this is obsession for me. Hmm. Well, heavy energy. Let's see. What is happening in the Divine Masculine's physical reality during this time, please? 8th through 11th of November 2021. What's happening in his physical reality, please? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So the collective that the collective that I'm picking up on today, they might be dealing with the car 911 on the clock, guys. Uh, they might be dealing with this is a woman, so I'll just read the cards, you know, as I see them, but this is not gender specific, it's just energy. So this is a karmic energy for me. This is a very upset woman, a jealous woman. She's someone who, you know, who knows to manipulate someone emotionally. She's jealous, she's upset, and she doesn't want her person to talk to anybody else. Okay, but very emotionally unbalanced. Someone who is, you know, who cries crocodile tears, maybe. Who's always 
you know, giving the other person a very hard time. There are, you know, something like, I'll hurt myself if you do something like this. You know, a very controlling woman, emotionally manipulative. So he is dealing with, with, with this kind of a person in his physical reality. All right, let's see. What is he thinking about his divine feminine at this time? Hmm. So he's thinking that he can't speak to her or he can't travel towards her during this time. Okay, but she is heavily on his mind with the Queen of Pentacles. This is wife material. She's very stable. She's independent. She's very motherly and nurturing with the dog here. She's very loyal. Okay, and we have red roses here. So she's very open to love. <clears throat> Something about a beautiful green dress, a beautiful bouquet, okay, where we have green or purple flowers, maybe, okay, uh, but there's something about a beautiful green necklace here, maybe emeralds, and a beautiful silk green dress, so I don't know if you have purchased a green dress lately, or if you are planning to buy one, or if you have posted pictures in a green dress, Whatever, if, if the Divine Masculine has seen you in this green dress, just just know that he's he loves you, okay? He, I mean, he's just in love with you. You are so beautiful to him. Okay, so he's thinking that he can't speak to the Divine Feminine uh, just now, or he can't travel towards her. Okay, if this is, if there's not a karmic involved in this situation, he might just be thinking that the Divine Feminine is very upset. And this is, you know, this is really weighing heavy on his mind that she's upset and she doesn't want to talk to me. So I can't really do, do anything about it. I don't want to upset her further. So this can be two ways. Just take it how it resonates. All right. All right. So what is he feeling about his Divine Feminine? What's in his heart space, please? 8th through 11th of November 2021. What's in his heart space, please? What is what is he feeling about her? She is my destiny. She is my good luck. And I just want to come forward and flirt with her. I want to take her out on a date. I want to flirt with her. I want to sweep her off, you know, her feet. I want to talk dirty. I just want to flirt with her. Okay. I want to express my feelings because she is my destiny. She is my good luck. And we were destined to meet each other. That's what he's feeling. So we have Sagittarius Pisces energy with the Wheel of Fortune. This is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is the planet which rules the zodiacs. Sagittarius and Pisces. Okay, we have water sign here as well. Okay, let's see. What does he want to say to the Divine Feminine, please? What does he want to say to her during this time? I am impatient. I cannot hold back any longer. Okay, so this is like taking action. His head is in the clouds, Okay, but he's moving forward. But in the reverse, this is like moving forward, but very impatient energy. Okay, this is like really impatient energy. For some of you, it might be that he is still in a flare, flare energy. Okay, he's still wanting to be single, but he misses his divine feminine so much that he's impatient to come forward. But Knight of Wands in the reverse is sometimes a player energy as well. So this knight in the reverse, he, he's not thinking straight. <clears throat> he's just very impatient to come forward, you know, have his cake, eat it too. Just trying to be single. <sighs> or this can also be that he's very impatient to know if the Divine Feminine is single now. So two, three scenarios here. 
I think two scenarios. So he's very impatient. First of all, there's a lot of sexual energy that's coming from him. So first of all, for one collective, it might be that he's still wanting to be because he has dealt with this karmic. If this is a if there's a karmic involved here, he has dealt with this karmic. Okay, so he's he's really he's really demotivated to get into a commitment right now. But obviously, when it comes to his divine feminine, he feels that she, you know, she's my good luck. And it was destiny to meet her. So he's really impatient <clears throat> to come towards her. But maybe in a flare-like energy because he's, he's desiring to be single because of this karmic. For the other collective, that there is no karmic where he feels that the divine feminine is upset with him. He's really impatient to come forward and to just know if the Divine Feminine is now single or is she seeing someone. So he's really impatient to discover what her situation is right now. Okay, <clears throat> so what's his blockage? What is blocking him? What is bringing his energy down? What's blocking him, please, during this time? Thank you. The distance. So, with you know, he's constantly watching the divine feminine. That there's no doubt about that. But there's this, you know, there's a distance, a lot of distance, and it's like he's he's really impatient to just you know just he doesn't want to stay away from you, basically. It's too much for him. Again, with this Eight of Wands, which is also travel, this is in reverse. So he's unable to travel. There's a lot of distance here. That's his blockage. And it really upsets him that why is she so far away? Why can't she be just in my arms? Okay. Yeah. Obsession. Attachment. That's what this energy is. What is going on in his karmic situation, please? So this is Scorpio energy. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces energy strongly in this reading. Sorry about the background noise, guys. My house is near the airport, so lots of flights coming in. <sighs> okay, let's see what's going on in his karmic situation at this time, please. Thank you. Hmm. So again, so if there's a karmic involved, the divine masculine is like, you know, he's just, he's really trying to cut her off. Okay, so again, two scenarios here. I'm picking up on two collectives today. So let's see. So if there's a karmic involved here, He's just really wanting to cut her off, speak his truth, because he's really angry and restless with this third party, all right? But if there is no karmic here, and this is the divine feminine who is upset with her divine masculine, and he knows that. So for that collective, the second collective... With the Queen of Swords, this is the Divine Feminine and she is constantly on her mind. He is so angry, restless and frustrated because she, you know, her new home is his mind. She doesn't leave and it's just so frustrating for him because again, with the attachment, it's too much. It's too much. I mean, and... And with the Three of Cups, he just constantly desires to be with her. This is a reunion card. Maybe he wants to introduce her to her friends, her his sorry, his friends, his circle, or her friends, her circle. It's it's just energy, guys, not gender specific. Okay, but there's a lot of frustration, anger, and restlessness. So yeah, again, two scenarios here. Let's see. Wow. What's his energy when it comes to his karmic partner? 
What is his energy when it comes to his karmic partner, please? Okay. So it's like, so if there is a karmic partner involved, you know, he's he's really trying to balance this situation because he doesn't, he's not interested in fighting and, you know, bickering. So he, he's really not interested in that. Okay, so, okay, I'll just explain the Queen of Swords as well because I just thought I should explain this first. Okay, so if this is the Divine Feminine, the Queen of Swords is a beautiful queen, okay? But she has gone through a lot. Her heart has been broken a lot of times in the past. Her head is not in the clouds. She is smart. She thinks straight. She is very truthful. She has very high values and she has set very functional boundaries. She doesn't let anyone come in. Okay, someone who's not worthy or who's not respecting her boundaries. So this is Libra energy. Something about um, lavender. This is lavender flower. Something about a bouquet of lavenders here. But her, her head is not in the clouds. She's very truthful and she is not afraid to cut off you know, any, anyone, I mean, cut off, I mean, I mean, she doesn't, she's not afraid to lose anyone or stop talking to anyone, block anyone who's not respecting her, her boundaries. Okay, so this is what he is doing if there's a very jealous, emotionally manipulative karmic involved. But if there's no karmic, he's just seeing the divine feminine in this energy. Okay, and the truth is, it's really hot, okay? It, it really makes him hot for her because a woman who has, a woman or a man who has high value, who has set functional boundaries, someone who speaks their truth, honest, okay? So the Divine Masculine finds this extremely sexy, Okay, and he's just wanting to come and balance this situation, test the waters. Where is she now? What is she thinking? What is she feeling? Something about a beautiful white dress here. We have, okay, we have two cards here where there's white dress, something like a long gown, maybe something like a bridesmaid gown, like a white silk bridesmaid gown or something like a cre cream or beige something like that okay because i just saw a picture in my head where there are bridesmaids standing together okay but if this if there's a karmic involved here he's really wanting to you know balance the situation he doesn't want to fight with her because he's so bored he's so bored with this fighting this bickering, he's just really not interested, okay? That's what he's desiring, okay? So we have Sagittarius energy here. Strong Sagittarius, guys. Okay. What are his intentions for his Divine Feminine, please? What are his long-term intentions during this time period for his Divine Feminine, please? Okay, so he really wants to rush towards her with the chariot cancer energy. But there's conflict. His soul wants to run somewhere. His mind is running somewhere else. So black horse is yang. This is masculine energy. This is the ego. White is the spiritual twin or the yin. This is heart. This is spirit. So... So basically, there's a war going within him, heart versus ego, okay? But the thing is that he really wants victory. He wants victory with her because he feels very defeated where he is right now, okay? He, he's maybe, he's, he feels isolated. He feels lonely without her. 
but this is feeling a lot of defeat and he's feeling vulnerable and he just wants to win this situation he doesn't want to be in this situation okay but he's really conflicted on how to make this move all right let's see what is his overall energy when it comes to his divine feminine and this connection with her, please? What's his overall energy during this time period? He wants to express. He's really trying to use his intuition because the spirits, the spirit, the angels are around him in his face and he really is desiring to express himself just a small message the page of cups is something small okay just a small text hey how are you doing maybe something like that but he's really wanting to express himself he's you know the water the emotions are sky high it's above his mind it's like he's not able to control this now his his brain is not working He's unable to think logically now because the emotions are above him. He's just drowning in that. He's really wanting to express himself. Trying to use his intuition. What's the best way? Okay, what physical actions? 26, 26 on the clock, guys. What physical actions is he taking towards the Divine Feminine during this time period? Thank you physical actions so he might be he might be discussing it with his friends okay in so three of cups here this is a card for reunion but when it comes into what actions he's going to take this is like he's he's discussing it with his close friends maybe someone he trusts maybe this can be his his mother his sisters Something like that, okay? Someone close to him. It can be women, it can be men. So, yeah. Because we have at the bottom of the deck Ace of Wands and the Death God. So he's really desiring to start something new. 27, 27 on the clock, guys. This is like a passionate new beginning. And this is this is a lot of sexual energy guys again the death god or the scorpio energy is again very sexual okay and this horse is really muscular so i feel he's trying he's not only trying to build up his finances but this is like building up muscles working out okay because he's wanting to impress the divine feminine whenever he makes this move whenever he tries to approach her so yeah, a lot of sexual passion, but this is like he's trying to discuss what's the best way, you know, to achieve this passionate new beginning with her. He's discussing it with someone really close. I feel this is, you know, this can be sisters because we have three women here and this one looks a bit older. Again, something about a green dress. We have a green dress here. We also have blue and pink. There's a beautiful garden in the background, okay? And a waterfall. So I don't know if that resonates for someone. If you have been in such a place with your friends recently or you are planning to go there. <clears throat> okay, I have a really itchy throat. So yeah, this person, this divine masculine, really wants to express himself. He wants to tell you his truth, he's, he's itching to do that, <clears throat> really restless, okay, anything else that we need to know, again, he feels extremely defeated, guys, Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles in at the bottom of the deck. So this can be that his finances are really moving slow at this time. And it might take him a few months to feel a bit more comfortable, okay, to feel a bit more confident, to come forward, <clears throat> to fight for this situation. 
because right now his finances are moving a bit slow. All right. <clears throat> oh my God, itchy throat. Sorry, guys. Okay, so what's the advice for the Divine Feminines, please? The, the Divine Feminines watching this video. What's the advice for them, please, during this time period? Thank you so much. What's the advice for the Divine Feminines, please? <clears throat> we have heaven and we have gifts received. <laughs> So, yeah, so, okay, I'll just show you. Now, if you look closely at this card, there's a beautiful angel. And this is, I feel this is the source. This is the God. And, you know, this source is shining its light on these couples here. So we have two people. One, two, one, two, one, two. So the, these are, I feel, these are twin flame couples who are being you know, looked at by the source, by the angels. Okay, so the thing is, the Divine Feminine is being guided to balance herself, you know, create a heaven within herself so that she's happy, she's beautiful, she's loving herself unconditionally. Because once there's balance within, there will be balance outside in the twin flame connection with your masculine as well. So unless and until you are loving yourself unconditionally, the physical reunion with your divine masculine will not be possible. You will need to love yourself first. And then when you do that, you will find yourself loving your masculine as well unconditionally. All that anger, that frustration, all the feelings of, you know, upset or whatever he did in the past, you'll just realize that it was a soul contract. And before you came on to this earth, you both decided that this is how this is going to play out on earth plane. So once you understand that, you will just automatically find yourself forgiving your divine masculine, because it's not his fault. He doesn't know what he's doing, okay? Because he's the matrix twin. The divine feminine is the one who realizes this connection. It might be that the divine masculine, you know, the first time you meet, you know, he, he just instantly knows that, yes, she's the one for me. But then later on, during the journey, when the divine feminine is finally starting to get into it when she's starting to realize the connection that's the time when the divine masculine runs away okay he's running because he's scared of the intensity he's not understanding now why am i falling for this woman or, or this man okay they don't understand so it's not their fault guys just forgive and forget whatever happened in the past just forgive, just love yourself unconditionally and just know that you are worthy of being pursued. Uh, double three, double three on the clock, guys. That you are worthy of being pursued and your divine masculine finds you beautiful anyway. Okay? You are one soul in two bodies. You cannot be separated. Nothing on earth is strong enough to keep you apart. And when you're healing, when you have done enough healing, okay, because when you do your healing, he will be inspired to do his healing because you are one soul. One part is healing, so the other has to, you know, heal itself automatically. That's how it happens, right? You don't need to chase. You don't need to run after him or complain why are you not talking to me? What's happened? Why has he blocked me? Nothing doing, guys. That's how it happens. Every twin flame feels rejected by their twin flame at some point, okay? Whether it's the masculine or the feminine, both of them. At the bottom of the deck, we have gifts received. 
So again, I think this is that decrease in reverse. The cycle is ending with this 11-11 portal. Um, you are receiving gifts now. This can be anything. This can be finances. This can be a new home. This can be a new car. Resources, you know, expansion in business. Maybe a new project is starting. Anything. It will just... You can just, you know... Take it how it resonates. It will defer for everyone. Okay, so just quickly get a few messages from the Divine Masculine. What does he want to say to his feminine, please, during this time? What does he want to say to his feminine during this time, please? I don't feel worthy of true love. What did I say? You have to love yourself unconditionally so that he automatically knows that he is, you know, worthy of true love. He learns to love himself unconditionally as well. Okay? But it will always begin from the divine feminine because she holds the light. She is the leader in a twin flame connection. Okay, always. It doesn't matter what gender she or he is. Like, it can be a man. Divine feminine can be a man. Divine feminine can be a woman as well. Okay, but in order for him to feel worthy of true love and to get out of this flair energy, the divine feminine will need to know her value. She will need to maintain functional boundaries, set some very high values, Respect herself in every way. Okay, no bullshit from anyone. It doesn't matter who it, who it is. Friends, family, ex-boyfriends, you know, crushes, etc. It doesn't matter. She has to maintain this energy for him, you know, to draw closer. To come out of this player energy. Because right now, he's in this energy. He doesn't feel worthy of true love, guys. Okay, so this video is just going on and on. All right, let's just see. Quickly, please. Three more cards. I feel so down and detached from this journey right now. So this is that, you know, attachment. That's that fear of. He's standing in a small, enclosed, dark room, unable to let go of his fears, but feeling attached, obsessed. So not in a good place. <clears throat> so sorry about the uh, itching in my throat. Okay, last two cards, please. My karmic is toxic. I feel so burdened. So yeah, that's this queen of cups in the reversed. Extremely manipulative, jealous energy. Okay, last card. Anything else that he wants to say to his divine feminine during this time period, please? Thank you. Okay. I want to tell you how much you mean to me. You are number one. See, I told you. There is no one else like you. You are always on my mind. I am so obsessed. I, this is like he's tired. He's fed up because you don't leave his mind. You know, his mind is your home now. And he's so angry and frustrated at that fact. Very restless. Okay. So that was our reading, guys. For, from 8th through 11th of November, the 11-11 portal. I hope you enjoyed it. It resonated with you in some way. It helped you in some way. Thank you so much for everything once again. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.